What's up, what's up, y'all? It's Dubby, and I'm here with this video. It's really trying to explain salary cap and the mold that the competitive players are playing, and that if y'all want to compete in Madden 18, y'all need to get in the salary cap because this is the essence of competitive Madden, both the last two years and certainly this year. And there's also little tricks, tips and tricks that we have that if you're a casual player, you're not necessarily going to understand. And it's things that when I went into the game, I didn't understand right away. And it's kind of what makes salary cap great for me and great for everybody else. It's kind of the puzzle match that you get trying to put your team together and save as much cap possible. You're only working with 700 this year, so you got to really try to save it in certain spots. And that's basically understanding what formations you want to run, how many players you need on the field, and how many players you need out of the 39 required players, how many of them you don't need. And essentially, every player you don't need needs to be a 10 cap player. They made it a lot easier this year. There's less roster manipulation because every position has a 10 cat, 10 cat bums that essentially are going to be on your team. You see here, so I primarily offensively, I want to run a three wide receiver, one tight end, one running back set. So essentially, I just, I just need three wide receivers and I just need one tight end. So behind my main tight end, I'm going to have a 10 cap Jacob Tammy. I try to find the best 10 cap, which is kind of like the tallest midget in the circus. They're really not going to be good. But you go ahead and try to find somebody, Jacob Cam Tammy, at least got 67 speed, which sounds terrible. But for a 10 cap, that's actually, you know, you can use it a little bit. So that's, he rarely ever gets on the field. So you want to save your cap. You don't want to put a backup tight end. Whereas in Mutt, regular Mutt, you'll have OJ Howard, you'll have Jason Witten, you'll have five tight ends. But in this, your backup players that don't get on the field have to be a 10 cap for you to maximize your roster. That's why a lot in the past, you've seen a lot of us really tanking our offensive line. Now, I tried that earlier, and this year it really makes you pay a little bit more. So I went with a gold line, and I had this Larry Larry Allen, like, base legend or something playing center. He's not that good. So ideally, we used to tank the O-line, but now I have gold. If more cards come out in the, in the future, I might tank the O-line, the interior guys. I really think tackles are important, and I've also even contemplated going with elite tackles because that's the line I'm using right now. All golds, about 17, 18 cap, all of them. But then we'll go back to offense. The two fullbacks, they never get on the field. I use one fullback 10 cap. The other one is one of my flex players. Your flex players should all be 10 cap players. It's the way to maximize. Use the 10 caps properly. So I had a fullback, and I'll use one of my flex players, which is you can put any position to take up to your flex. So you use a flex with a 10 cap. Honestly, I should probably use it somewhere else because, like I said, they do have 10 caps for every position. So rather than have two fullbacks, I might as well have another wide receiver or another tight end or another DB. That's terrible. And here you see my fourth wide receiver never gets on the field. So he's the 10 cap tight end. Now, the fatigue is a little crazy this year. Well, they might get on the, on the field from time to time. But ultimately, it's worth saving that roster spot and going ahead and just putting 10 cap as my backup wide receiver. Now, defense, the same thing. Defense is a little trickier because some of y'all want to go ahead and use a 3-4, use a dime, use be able to use multiple defensive formations. Whereas in salary cap, in the past, we've always dictated our roster primarily to one formation defensively. Whether you want to run nickel, you want to run 3-4, have four linebackers, you want to run dollar, you have a hell of DBs, whatever you want. But here you see, I'm primarily going to run six DBs in most all my formations, but then I also have another linebacker that's, that's good, but not that much cap. You know, most of the time I find... Speed with your linebackers is what matters to me personally. I mean, obviously, we'd love them to hit. We'd love them to catch and cover and block shed. But those guys are, are looking at, you know, 30 cap. Whereas I have these two guys, Gruger Hill and Dewey McDonald, who are both, you know, 14, 15 cap and 83 and 84 speed, respectively. So that those these two linebackers are like must-haves for me on defense. You see all these other linebackers that have more cap than them. So I'll go here and search my cap value. And we'll go up the bottom side. And that, that way you really find out who, who can play and who's going to save you money. You don't want to spend your money on positions that, you know, really don't dictate that much to me personally. I think linebacker is the best position to save, save some cap. Because, like I said, what I said here? Oh, here we go. We just want to compare these guys. Oh, I can't find Dewey McDonald. And you essentially just... The cap value you can save in linebacker, for me, is personally, is, is way more than any other position. You know, whereas the pet, if you try to save on D-line, you try to save on O-line, it's going to affect your game a lot more. 
you know, so linebacker is definitely a spot where I look to, okay, where can I find, you know, the best, you know, the best way to save cap, but not also hurt my team. So if you have two linebackers here with 84 speed and an 83 speed, you know, and they're both 14 and 15 cap, I mean, that's ridiculous. You go ahead and look at an Anthony Barr or Shazier, you're talking about 25, 30 cap. So if I run both of these guys, I'm saving myself easily you know, up to 20, 30 cap for my team where I could use elsewhere. And honestly, the, the main thing you want, and for me in a linebacker is speed, especially most of the time I'm going to be user in one. So as long as they're fast enough, I feel like I can get the job done. Now they're going to miss tackles. And when you let them, the computer control them, they're going to be stupid. But you have to live with that because they had the speed and they go ahead and, you know, save you tons of cap. So linebacker is a spot where I look to save the most cap personally. And right now, even on D-line, I'm saving a lot of cap with Cassius Marsh. Cassius Marsh is another player I use because the 85 block shed, only 25 cap, where, like you said, you know, these other guys tend to be a lot more cap. And 85 block shed for gold is, is really high. I had Bosa. I had, you know, Von Miller, all those guys. But I they didn't pop off the screen to me. I'm cool with these guys, Dante Fowler and, and uh, Cassius Marsh because they're decent. And I like to honestly put a lot of my cap in my, two of my corners. And that's Jalen Ramsey, Patrick Patrick Peterson, because they can do a bunch of different stuff. They can man up. They can play zone. They're physical. They can hit. And if you don't know by now, you need to learn about these two guys who were absolute savages last year. And honestly, TJ Green himself plays way better than he did last year for me. That's TJ Green and Lonnie Ballantyne, man. To be that tall, still be able to hit, and have 86 speed at the time Mutt is dropped right now, they're still great cards. And I, if you compare him to other safeties, I think I have a Rodney Harrison here. Rod Rod Woodson. I have Dion. And you compare it, just TJ Green, just his speed alone. Obviously, he gets blown out in all these other categories. Like you look at the hit power is 20 more points. The tackle is 20 more points. All this stuff is way much. But at the end of the day, he's 6'3". He's 86 speed. You know, you look at the cap difference. 33, 11 cap in that player. You get this a taller player with the same exact speed. And the one thing to me that's always separated T.J. Green is just his catch. He catches everything. If the ball goes up in the air, T.J. Green is going to grab it. So that's a player, if you want to say, I, he, I think he's a must-have on salary cap this year, even more so than last year. One of my biggest flaws I felt going into the Madden Championship last year is I spent a lot of money, a lot of my cap on Sean Taylor and Harrison Smith. You talking about players that were 60 cap, whereas T.J. Green was balling for people and he was 22 cap. So this year, I mean, until the safety really stands out, I'm going to continue to rock Lonnie Ballantyne and TJ Green. And down here, I even have Obi. We all know Obi from the end of last year with the draft card. 6'4", fast and physical. So these guys are a way to save cap and not have, you know, 50 cap tied into your safety. Which, like I said, last year I thought was a detriment to the team I built. So th these are just different ways we like to save. And here we go again. These two backup safeties are both 10 caps. Sean Witherspoon, probably the best 10 cat linebacker, has 79 speed, which is not fast, but it's not slow for a linebacker now, and he's 10 cap. And your backup D lineman that never get in the game, 10 caps too. This guy, I don't, I don't even legger, I don't know him, but he's 10 cap. So you put him in there, they don't get in too much. So that's different ways we go ahead and utilize. Now, this a lot in the past we've been able to tank kicker, but I actually have a kicker now because you know if you have a, a 70 kick power kicker, he can't do anything for you. So they did a good job of making it. You have to have a kicker. My punter is the base one they gave me. He's terrible. If I have to punt, it really goes like 15 yards. But if I have to punt, that's my fault. So I'm really not going to put any money into my punter. So that's pretty much how it works. You you have to utilize. You have to get good at utilizing the players that that are cheap. You know, obviously, you look at this, and if you look at these players on a mutt team, you throw up. You'd be like, "This is terrible. Why would I have that?" But on salary cap, they perform just just as well as some of the, the high high cap cards. You know, like I said, speed, height, and hit power, man. That's really no matter what mode they change in the game, no matter what you know features they put in, patches, all that. Nothing will ever replace speed, height, and hit power. All these guys had a big hitter trait, too. People are really caught up on a big hitter trait. You need safe people with big hitter. Let the computer hit for you sometimes, you know. Even pro player, you, you like the computer to help you from time to time. I'm not good enough to do everything myself. So, like I said, speed, height, hit power. Those are the three things. 
you look for in DBs for me personally. I mean, obviously you like to have your two guys that can actually run and cover, and I have Patrick Peterson and Jalen Ramsey for that because both of them are physical. They can both hit, and I like them there. Marshawn Lattimore is another gold. Low cap, 88 speed. That's a car y'all should look into. And I'm going to do some more of these videos every once in a while when I find new gold cars that I really like. But for Marshawn Lattimore to be 24 cap with 88 speed, obviously his zone and his man is not good. But the one thing we also like about Marshawn Lattimore, you go down here, 62 tackles, not bad at all for a corner. And the, he's physical, man. You like somebody, anything over 60 hit power for a corner is good for me. 61 hit power, 88 speed, he can play for me. You know, that, that's, that's big time. So, like I said, you got to utilize the players. That you have to First, you have to realize, okay, this is the set I want to run. Okay, so what players don't I need? If I want to run two tight ends, then I don't. I only need two wide receivers. So the other two wide receivers need to be 10 caps. If I want to run 3-4, I only need four DBs. So all the other DBs need to be 10 caps. So, And that's the way we use salary cap to our benefit. You know, Like I said, as the year goes on, I'm going to go ahead and put out more videos about more players that I find out that are really cheap and really effective. It can help you, once once again, utilize the cap to your best advantage and also make plays on the field. So stay tuned to more of them videos. Hit the like button if this helped y'all. Please subscribe and go ahead and please uh, hit, hit that like button. All right, I'm out of here.